before I start this video, I would just like to say only a small percentage of my viewers are actually subscribed. Please subscribe. Hey everyone, Raf here, and today I'm showing you part two of Perth Drummer Day 2021, where I get mentored by Ian Duffy and interview Sean from Conundrum Drums. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss the brand new content I post. It really helps my channel grow.
Um, so I'm going to just interview you and ask you a few questions. Sounds good to me. Um, but when you make snare drums, um, like what 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 separates a good snare from a bad snare? Um, well, I'm still I'm still starting out. So for me, this is just a complete learning curve. But um, the wood density, the wood hardness, makes a big difference. So the harder the wood, normally you get the, the more resonance, more of a sing to it. The softer the wood, the more kind of softer and woody it sounds. So so, so like something like pine would be like. Re um, wouldn't really like ring out, yes. and then and then and then like hickory would ring out a lot. Exactly. So you know, so pine would absorb a lot of those sound okay. waves, those those booms. So it'd, it'd be a quieter snare in general. But people still make snares, drums out of pine. So. Okay. Um. Do you, do you play drums? I do play drums, yes. Uh, are you in any bands? Uh, no, I used to be in a couple of bands back in Scotland, um, but not since I've been here. Okay. Yeah. What, what's your name? My name's Sean. Sean from? Conundrum. Conundrum? And I'm making some Conundrum snares. So just give us a brief outline on Conundrum, conundrum snares. Um, it just started as a hobby. Um, these are all stay block snares that I've been making in my shed when I'm at home. And uh, yeah, I just came here today to get some feedback and hopefully sell some and just to present the present it to everyone and see what happens, really. Okay. Yeah. Ha have you seen my YouTube channel? I haven't, no. no. And what is it? Um, Pixels and Beats. Pixels and Beats. So um, that, that's the name of the channel. So and the end of the end, it's just it's the end on its own. All right, awesome. I'll have to check it out for you. Yeah. Cool, man. You can check it out right now. I can check it out right now. So what what would you say about the well? Tell us about this uh, snare that you put on display for everyone. Yeah, so this is this is a Mari snare. Um, it's super high feature as you can see. Lots and lots of greens in it. And it started off really thick at 35 mil, but it wasn't really working too well, so I thinned it down to 12 mil. And uh, yeah, she sings, she sings, she sings loud. And um, I'm proud of this one, and hopefully it will be someone's new best friend very soon. Um, yeah, not much else I can say. Hopefully it'll sell itself. Hopefully. Brad, uh, what can you say about the snare that that you can give us feedback to Sean? So I'm um, like the like I I like how it like rings out and, like it, it's got like a like ringing out kind of sound yeah. on the on the on like the edge because like um I, I I don't know snare drum the um so w when you when you hit it 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 barely has any ringing out at all yeah so um because I think it's like made with like one of these softer kinds of woods yeah possibly yeah do you know what, what snare drum it is um it's it's a it's from a Ludwig Epic, okay. which is the drum kit I own. Yeah. Um, I don't know what wood it's made of though. Yeah. Ah. And how thick it is. Ah, you're gonna have to start looking into it now. Mm. Check it out. Do you have much muffling on your snare? Um, I don't really have much muffling on my snare. Snare is probably the only um drum that I don't really have much muffling on. Okay. Yeah. Let them sing. It's all about the head yep. choice as well. Yeah. So what's that one? That's a Remo. That's a Remo um, controlled sound X, and then the other ones, that's an Evans. First stop. It's a loud, a little bit of a ring, but I think it kills some overtones. I think it's using ambassadors. Okay, yeah. So. There's so many in there. It's, 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 yeah, it's hard to choose from. How long have you been in business? Uh, is it a business if I haven't sold any snares yet? Or is it just a hobby? No, I don't know. <laughs> um, I've only just started this year, so about six months I've been making these drums. And this is my first showcase of them, so we'll see, we'll see how today goes and see how we'll go in the next few months. For as long as possible, hopefully. And do you have a website? Um, Conundrum Factory and Facebook is Conundrum Factory. And actually, do you have a website? Yeah, well, there's plenty here. So what's the difference? 
these are some of the questions that Raf's asked me to ask people, That's which <laughs> I think he should be asking people, <laughs> is uh, the depth of the drum. So the I depth. didn't actually ask that. The sheer depth. depth. <laughs> yeah. uh, I didn't ask. Um, the, well, the deeper, the deeper the snare, the deeper the tones, and the thinner the less the tones. It just allows your sound wave to bounce and reverberate in there a bit further, so it creates longer sound waves, that's to say, in that sort of aspect. Um, but the thickness, the wood, the depth, the hardware, everything makes an impact on every single drum. So again, for me, it's still learning and I'm still trying to get my head around half of it. So it's uh, it's mind blowing now I've started making them. Uh, it's a bit scary, but it's cool. Cool. Yeah. Anything else you want to add? Um, no. No. <laughs> Okay, so uh, right here, I just advise you to like mute whatever device you're using, cause um, yeah, loud stuff is coming up in like three, two, one. <laughs> oh, and Dad, there's one, there's one thing I want to tell you right now. What? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you all enjoyed. Let me know in the comments down below if you like these kinds of videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and with that, I'll see you all next time. Bye.